The search for a missing Malaysian airline jet is back in high gear this morning. An Australian ship is trying to pinpoint two new signals in the Indian Ocean. Officials say that pings could be from airliner black boxes. A new estimate says the search has already cost more than $44 million. Flight 370 is on track to become the most expensive recovery effort in aviation history and involves some of the world's most advanced undersea technology. Elaine Keanu gets a close-up look at one of the U.S. Navy's best tools. Elaine, good morning. Good morning. It's called an autonomous underwater vehicle. At just 21 inches in diameter, the specialized craft is able to travel to the furthest depths of the ocean, to places no one has seen before. In Quincy, Massachusetts, near the city's historic shipyard, one of the world's most innovative deep-sea explorers is being put to the test. Called the Bluefin 21, the submersible vehicle can descend two and a half miles below the ocean's surface to some of the most inhospitable places on the planet. The temperature is about slightly above freezing. Um, it's pitch black. The pressure there is the equivalent of having a Cadillac Escalade balanced on your thumbnail. David Kelly is CEO of Bluefin Robotics, a company that specializes in deep sea exploration. We sent one of our marine operations engineers uh, to support them. One of the Bluefin submersibles, owned by a U.S. Navy defense contractor, is now aboard the Australian vessel Ocean Shield in the southern Indian Ocean. Now that a signal has been received, the torpedo-like craft will soon be put to work. It will scour an area the size of Texas at a rate of 40 square miles each day. Down there it'll run what's called a lawnmower pattern. It's just like mowing uh, the lawn at your house. On each mission, the craft uses sonar technology to scan the ocean floor. Those sounds create images that researchers analyze when the craft resurfaces once every 24 hours. Sound refracts off of objects and gets turned into imagery that we can interpret. William O'Halloran runs Bluefin's marine operations. What is it that they would be looking for? So they're looking for objects that stand out off the seabed. You're looking for man-made features, which are almost always right angles. You're looking for patterns. You're looking for collections of things, things that, things that stand out. Only when those out-of-place things are discovered would the Bluefin return to take a more detailed survey with its high-res cameras. But in an area as remote as the Indian Ocean, researchers say the deployment of the Bluefin can at best be viewed as a starting point. Part of the challenge with this, with this type of operation is just being able to sort of stay the course and withstand the amount of time it takes to do the search. The Bluefin 21 will only be deployed when the pings from the black box have narrowed down a searchable area or when they have disappeared completely.